have my tea very strong. I probably have, I have two tea bags. Let, let it sit for about 60 seconds um, and I'll take one out and I'll leave the other one in until I finish my cup of tea. Tea is um, a big part of, or has been a big part of my life. It's a, it's a time of gatherings. It's a time of, um, that reminds me of my grandmother and great-grandmother. I actually remember having um, a cup of tea in my bottle. That's probably why I like it that strong now, I'm that used to it. But for somehow I've, I've diverted to coffee, which concerns me. I'm very particular about what cup I use. I like the little, the old style ones, the antique ones. Four or five sip, sips and it's gone. I have it black, not too strong. Not too weak. I have it about 6.30 in the morning. As I stagger out of bed, I make a cup of tea every morning and have done for the past 21 years for my wife, Marie. Which I take to her into the bathroom when she's in the shower. and she's loved me for it ever since. Tea, um, strong. It's like, I like it to be like coffee. I blend my own tea, because I'm sort of nine-tenths wanker. Uh, I actually like just a little bit of smoky flavour in the tea, but Lapsang Souchong is a really pathetic tea, um, aside from the smoky flavour, so I get like a good strong tea and I put a bit of Lapsang Souchong in it and maybe add some other things if I'm feeling fancy. So I get the, I fill up the little plum bob thing. I get the biggest one you can get, those little cages, whatever they're called. I fill it right to the top until it's like it's all over the bench and everything. And then I stick it in and I stir it like crazy until it's like jet black. I call it, um, I actually call it the house blend. Would you like a house blend, I say, when people come to the house? And I'm really fond of crockery and I have probably about eight teapots. Uh, I also like kettles, actually. I have three kettles, one that we use and then two that are sort of collection. The crockery I'm most fond of uh, is actually uh, made by Woodsware and it was, uh, if you see sort of old British films, you'll see it's in hospitals in Britain. This kind of mass-made crockery, but it's a very deco in style. Um, so it meant that you could ha collect a whole set and, ha you know, have the same crockery uh, for, you know, all your teacups and so on and your teapot and your sugar and whatnot. Um, and it wasn't that hard to get your hands on if you were uh, a frequent op shop visitor, which I am. Mm, no, it's just not coffee. <laughs> I need a cup of the brown stuff, the shade of an acorn, made warm by the same source that I take my cakes from. Using a teapot, a mug of fine china, been hooked up to IV, need constant supplies, and a drip for my urges might verge on perverted, perverted brown tea. I'm certain it's worth it. With Sherpas who work hers and use a fresh fountain, I've discerned blues from the Peruvian mountain. Now when I say Earl Grey, you say yes please, Earl Grey. Yes please, Earl Grey. Yes please. When I say Assam, you say lovely, Assam. Lovely, Assam. Lovely. Oh, I love it though. I'd sell my old grandma.